In our Gospel reading today, from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 12, verses 1 to 11, we are told that six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany to visit his close friends, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, whom Jesus raised from the dead. In this text, we perceive not only the great hospitality of these three siblings who welcome Jesus into their home, but also the depth of their friendship with Jesus. Speaking about the details of hospitality, we recall how Martha served Jesus with utmost delicacy. We imagine how Lazarus listened and paid attention to Jesus while reclining a table with him. We bring to mind the heart of the gospel reading when Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil in order to anoint the feet of Jesus and dry them with her hair. These are gestures of hospitality that come from a genuine friendship with Jesus. My dear friends, as Christians, we are also called to forge a deep friendship with Jesus. Our Lord always takes the initiative to enter into our homes, ultimately into our lives. He desires to establish a friendship with us, but it is up to us if we welcome Jesus into our lives. This is the reason why St. Teresa of Avila, a great doctor of the church, always clamored for an authentic friendship with Jesus, amistad con Jesus, a friendship that is rooted in the conformity of our will to the divine will. If we keep on satisfying our every whim without being docile, to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, if we choose not to obey the Lord, we will never grow in our relationship with Him. In her autobiography entitled El Libro de Mi Vida, or The Book of My Life, St. Teresa of Avila has this interesting remark. In order that love be true and the friendship endure, the wills of the friends must be in accord. The will of the Lord, it is already known, cannot be at fault. Our will is vicious, sensual, and ungrateful. My dear friends, indeed, to be a friend of Jesus entails an authentic purification of the heart and the will. the will to seek God's commandment, the will to seek the plan of God in everything that we do. Kana bang mamalandong ta na kaning atong gibuhat, kaning atong gisulti, may uyun ba sa ato ang relasyon sa Dios? There was one professor who told us about his research work Nagtuon siya sa mga giswat ni Santa Teresa of Avila. Sa spontaneous nga pag-ampo ni Santa Teresa, maingon na siya sa ginoo, Jesus, no lo quieres? Pues no lo quiero. Nagpasabot nga ginoo, kani akong gibuhat, di ni maayo, di ni makatabang na ko sa uban, nan di sa ko ganahan ani. She was too concerned about pleasing God, about fulfilling the will of God. And that's a sign of true friendship with the Lord when we listen to the Lord and when we act on His Word. This is a beautiful challenge for all of us as we enter into the Holy Week celebration. Hinaot nga mutubo ta sa ato ang relasyon sa ginoo. Namulaong ang ato ang pagigsuod sa ginoo. Namakaingon ta nga kita usab higala ni Jesus. Kay higala man siya nato. 
He never abandons us in our joys and in our sorrows, in our consolations and desolations. So how do we value this friendship with God in our life? I would like to add this detail. Do we also realize that our friendship with the Lord motivates us to have a good relationship with the people around us? Muna itong makita sa kinabuhi sa mga santos, no? nga di gudi ay mabuwag ang atong pakigugma sa Diyos o sa atong isikataw. The more ta nga mutubo sa atong relasyon sa ginoo, the more said mulaw mga to ang relasyon sa atong isikataw. We go back to our gospel reading and we ask for the grace that our friendship with Jesus may empower us to be a real friend to others. Like Martha, may we learn to serve the Lord in our brothers and sisters, especially those who are sick. As we recall Lazarus, may we always be ready to recline a table with Jesus in the table of the Eucharist as well as in the table of those who hunger and ask for bread. And like Mary, may we never be afraid to go the extra mile in loving Jesus through our gestures of generosity in our prayer and in our relationship with the people around us. Let us end this reflection with a prayer. Jesus, we invite you to our Bethany. As we welcome you into our lives, into our homes, may we always grow in our friendship with you through the quality of our service, charity, and generosity to the people around us. Amen.